So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another CSS tutorial, which I believe is one of the most important CSS tutorials you should see. And that is positioning of elements in CSS. Now in HTML and CSS, you can position elements in a certain way. I'm going to get more into how the positioning works and everything. But in this video, I want to discuss the two positions, the absolute positioning and the relative positioning. Now you see, you know the meanings of words absolute and relative, right? <clears throat> so absolute means that you specify the absolute coordinates of a particular element <clears throat> on the screen. So you want to specify the top coordinate, the left coordinate, the width and the height. And that should be enough for any element to appear on the screen. But technically speaking, this is a very, very difficult job to do for each and every element on the screen with different screen sizes and, you know, different dimensions of the window. So it does not really make sense to position every element as absolute because it would, you would have a really, really hard time creating a good layout in that case. Position relative is our job to do, but sometimes what happens is that position absolute becomes very necessary. Um, in case you want to work on some details, right? Not the complete layout, but a few details. So let's, let's just get into some examples, less of talk and more of seeing what I'm talking about. So here's our index.html page, a simple div with two paragraphs. This one has a class of apps. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to give this div a position of relative and don't get confused right, right at this moment. I'm going to explain why everything is happening. And the apps, that is the second paragraph, I'm going to give this as position absolute. So first thing you're going to notice right off the box and no puns in intended, but yeah, that's what has happened actually, is that paragraph two is thrown out of the box. And the reason for that is because you're going to see the main height of the div has shrunk. Why is that? Because the absolute, absolutely positioned children, the height of those elements is not considered while calculating the height of the parent, right? So some things you're going to learn with experience, some things I can tell you, but here's the, here's this one thing which you, which you should know that if you position child absolute, and if you give it a height of, you know, whatever you want, this 200 pixel does not get added to the height of the parent, right? So there's that. Another thing is that now you can basically control this element however you want using the top, left, bottom and right um, coordinates, uh, the properties in CSS. So let me just go ahead and give this a margin of zero real quick to this paragraph because it has got a margin. Paragraph one also has that margin, but I'm not giving it a zero so that it's visible. So you see that I have given top as zero, but I'm not given left as anything. So let's just go ahead and give left as zero as well. All right, so one thing which you sh see right off the box is that it sticks to the border of the box. It still does not go out of the box, right? And one thing I want to do is I want to give this div a margin of, let's say 200 pixels. Uh, well, that was not the best thing. Let's give it a margin top of 200 pixel and a margin left of 30 pixel, right? Yeah, this would make it much easier for you to see. Now I have given top and left to this paragraph two, right? And it sticks to the top left. If I give it a right, you're gonna see that it sticks to the right side of the box. If I make this bottom, uh, bottom, you're gonna see that we have that result as well. And if I make this left, you're gonna see we are basically playing inside the box only. Now, why is that and how does it work? Well, you see that when an element is positioned absolutely, in this case, our paragraph two, what it would do in the index.html or whatever HTML file is, it will start looking at its parents, right? So in this case, it's just div. And we'll see, it will find the first element which has this property known as position relative, right? Once it finds it, this property on a particular element, what it's going to do is it's going to make the absolute coordinate systems relative to the coordinates of this particular parent. For example, this div has a position relative, 
the ABS, that is the paragraph 2, finds in the DOM that, hey, this div is my parent and this has the position relative with it. Now, what I want to do is I'm just going to stick into my parent, right? I'm going to always stay inside this particular box. So that means the top and the top left, bottom right um, are set to zero by the coordinates of this particular box. So top zero, zero is this. Uh, you know, top zero, right zero is this, bottom zero, right zero is this, and bottom zero, left zero is this, right? What you can do, however, is you can specify negative values, which would bring it out of the box eventually, right? So if you do it for a correct value, you can pretty much just get the whole P tag out of the box, which can be computed as well. Uh, that's using transforms, but we are not going to get into that for now. But yeah. You get the idea, I guess, right? Now, what happens if it does not find the relative um, on the parent or maybe in any parent above that? So it will just stick to the Windows coordinates, right? So if I go ahead and remove this and make this zero as well, what you're going to see is that we have this paragraph two sticking in the bottom left corner of the page now instead of the box itself. So if I make this top, you're going to see that we have the top left coordinate here, right? Now I can even show you a little bit of um, thing here. If I have another div right here, and let's say this is the structure more or less, and I give this as a, not this as a class of uh, parent, or maybe like grandparent, why not, right? This has a class of parent and so on, right? Now, if I go ahead and make this as parent, and if I go ahead and give the grandparent a border of one pixel solid red, right? And now, if I go ahead and give this as position relative, what you're going to see is that paragraph two goes ahead and finds the first div in the in the parental hierarchy and sees that, well, my grandparent has the position relative, so I'm gonna stick to that, right? However, if I make the parent relative as well, you're gonna see that paragraph two finds that, hey, my parent itself is relative, so I do not have to look any further, and I'm gonna stick to my parent only. So there's that. Now, how can this be used for, um, you know, uh, for, for details, just like I said, so what you can do with this absolute element is maybe you can just give it a right of zero, um, right, and uh, top of zero as well. Why not? For example, I'm just showing you an example. Uh, you can give it a height of 100%. What this means is that it will take this height of this whole box, right? Now I can give it a display of flex. I can say justify content center, and I can say align items center, right? So now I have this paragraph always aligned to the right side and probably you can also give this something like a background of red as well, right? So that will, that now this would always, always be, you know, just sticking right there, right that to that particular end, right? So yeah, I mean, uh, that's how you're going to more or less work with the uh, the absolute positioning in a nutshell and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one